Hey guys, this is Bluff Monkey back for Sonic Academy, and in today's video, we're going to look at five free VST plugins. Um, now, there's quite a lot of free plugin videos out there, um, and quite rightly so. There's 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 many, many, many uh, really nice free plugins that you can use but I thought rather than just do the ones that I like the best I'll try and look for something that can either replace or be an alternative to paid plugins so rather than just have something that I like at random so for example Voxango Span the um, Spectrum Analyzer is a really good free plugin um, but every list includes that plugin and many others so I'm trying to get with the times and I know a lot of people are struggling for money at the moment so let's have a look at some that could either replace or be an alternative to some paid plugins. Let's go. Right so what I've done as usual is created a little kind of looped demo. You might hear me start and stop it a few times because I've got the, the virus going in this because we've got a plugin that replaces a part of the virus. And sometimes the virus forgets what it wants to do. So see, it's out of time there. Right, I think the first one we're going to have a look at is um, Waves R-Base. <clears throat> now, this plugin's been out for years and it uses some kind of mysterious algorithm to enhance certain frequencies of a bass line. And there isn't a lot um, out there that you can use as an alternative, paid or free or otherwise. It's a fairly unique plugin. Now, what I've done cleverly is I've chosen a bass sample that is already pretty well EQ'd. And it works well by itself anyway, so I probably wouldn't use something like our bass in this scenario. The plugin I've found is BX Sublifter. Uh, it's on Plugin Alliance and it is free. And it's not the same, but it does similar trickery um, in terms of being able to select a frequency and then enhance and push it slightly. So they won't sound the same, but you can get similar results. So let's have a look at our base first. So very simple, you've got an intensity and a frequency. This isn't oh this isn't going to be a plugin tutorial. We're not going to go through every control of every plugin. Just trying to give you some alternatives. So it's almost a little bit like a resonant filter sweep, but it's actually doing a bit more. Um, our bass is enhancing. It's adding some harmonics to certain frequencies. So you can hear what that's doing. So our bass I find is specifically good for helping a bass line sit in a mix. If it's getting lost, you can push or enhance certain frequencies and all of a sudden the bass will kind of stand up and go, oh, I'm, I'm here. It, it'll help it push through a busy mix sometimes. Now, BX Saturator, let me just turn our bass off, slightly different. You do have the same kind of frequency control. It doesn't go quite as high as our bass. Our bass goes right up to 256 hertz. Um, Sublifter only goes up to 90. Uh, and then you've got the intensity is replaced by a low end knob. And you've also got a resonance control. I find the extreme one always too extreme. But let's have a listen to what it's doing. So that's the intensity. And that's the frequency thing. So it's it's fairly similar, but it's not going to sound exactly the same. It's actually pretty good. Um, that's one to definitely put in your arsenal if you're trying to save a bit of cash. I mean, our base is usually on sale for twenty nine dollars anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, but this is the only plugin I've come across that can be used as an alternative. I'm just going to switch them both off. Next, we're going to move over to our percussion bus. Let me just solo this. So I've just got a couple of loops running. 
Uh, and there's two plugins we're going to have a look at here. The first one is good old LFO tool. And the alternative I found for that is actually called Tal Filter 2. And again, it's free. So let me just turn LFO tool on. So, I mean, 99% of the time when I use LFO tool, all I do is switch it on and use it as a ducking alternative so I don't have to fire up a compressor and root anything because I'm lazy. So, you know, 99% of the time, that's that's what I'm doing with it. Um, Tal Filter has got some similar functionality in that you have a, a kind of resolution control. And you can also use this curve to control filters and panning and volume like you can with um, LFO tool over here. But I'm just going to use it as a simple ducking tool here. So that's LFO tool. And this is towel filter. So you can get very, very similar kinds of effects with that. I mean, volume automation is not going to sound drastically different between one plugin and another. Although I will say that I'm not quite sure how the scaling works on towel filter 2. Um, because if you have a look at the the line, the timing line running across here, that is uh, one beat, and it's the same with LFO tool as well. So you can see that they're running at the same resolution, but I'm having to move this curve way further over to get the same kind of uh, timing as LFO tool. So that's just something to take into consideration. You can alter the curves. On LFO tool, you just grab the curve itself. On here, you've got little nodes at each, sorry, little handles on each node. Go back to where you were. So I'm gonna leave um, towel filter on because we do want this percussion bus ducked a bit. And then, let me just get these out of the way. The next thing we're gonna look at is mag eq now obviously there's thousands of eq plugins out there um but mag eq has the fizz it has this magic um what they call the air band right at the top here so that's over here and you can see that the 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 replacement i found this is very similar this is one of the plugins it's actually very very similar to the um to the original it's called lufticus by lkjb and obviously the layout is very, very similar, if not identical. But we're only going to take a look at this air band at the top here. So if I turn mag EQ on, let me just solo the percussion again. So what we're going to be doing is setting this air band. You can set it to 2.5, 5, 10, 20 or 40 kilohertz. And obviously nobody can hear 40 kilohertz. I can't even hear 20 at my age. Um, but it's actually applying a shelf right up there and the shelf is doing something to the top end that it, it adds this kind of magical fizz. It's called the air band because it's it sounds airy. So we're going to whack it right up to 40 and then increase the gain. That's harsh. But can you see what it's doing? It, and it's something that, again, if you use it in a mix, like our bass or sublifter, these these are things that can help push certain elements of a track through a mix where traditional EQ might not help. So let's do it in the context of the mix. So it's just adding that that bit of fizz to the top end. Um, and then on Lufticus, we can, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Lufticus, we can do the same. Let me just switch off mag EQ. Would help if I switch it on. Switch plugins on for them to work, even free ones. <sighs> yeah, you can hear what that's doing there. So I'm going to leave that on very subtle. You don't want to add too much because then you'll end up um, making the mix sound really harsh.
And both of them obviously got they've got a, a level trim. So as you enhance this t this top end, you can pull the gain back down again. Which I'll probably do here. Yeah, so it's just adding that little bit of fizz. And in conjunction with LFO tool or towel filter, when you're ducking that in and out, it can help. Um, if, you, if you've got too much top end all the time, that's when a mix can become fatiguing. And you're like, oh God, shut up. Um, but just using the top end boost subtly uh, with a bit of ducking, you're golden. Um, okay, that's that done. So is that three? Yeah, three, I think. Uh, the next one's going to be this vocal, which I'll solo. Distortion, 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 distortion. Yeah, this is a classic Psytrance kind of deal. Distortion, 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 distortion. And what I want to do to this is I want to add um, a kind of reverb. Um, but I want it to sound massive and spacey. <clears throat> now, something I often do is go for something like Replica XT. Or I would use Eventide Black Hole, which is a true reverb. But Replica XT is, it does that kind of massive space thing um, very, very cleanly. I think because it's based on a delay algorithm. I don't know, it's technical things. But I'm going to find a big space. Let's go for something like Wormhole. That sounds promising. So this will be the, the paid original. So let's listen to this. Distortion, distortion, distortion. And once again, I'll switch it on. <laughs> uh, obviously, this is the kind of sound you want ducked a bit because it's it goes on. So that big, spacey sound, I often find that these delay-based plugins do it better than reverbs because reverbs can... <clears throat> excuse me, can tend to get a little bit chaosy or metallic. Um, Arts Acoustic is a good one, but I, I tend not to use Arts Acoustic anymore because um, severe lack of support. But So I like Replica XT, but the quite obvious free alternative would be Valhalla Supermassive. Now this one you've probably heard of. This one comes up in free plugin lists all the time. So let's find, <clears throat> got a bit of a frog in my throat, a massive uh, billions and billions. Let's try. Now, this won't sound the same because obviously they're going to be calculating things in very different ways. But I'm trying to replicate the effect of Replica XT, not the exact sound. So let's listen to Replica again. Big sound. Let's listen to super massive. Uh, I don't want the mix quite that high. It's quite similar, much brighter. Is there any, e there's no EQ on Replica. I might bring that down a bit. Too long. Feedback will be like, Length. Let's go back to replica. Yeah, replica in this case sounds a little bit more hollow, but I quite like the top end of Supermassive. Let's listen in context. There it is. And you kind of want that for Psytrance, don't you? That kind of ethereal. I'm away with the fairies kind of sound. See the virus went out there. Yeah, Supermassive is is the daddy when it comes to free plugins like this. It's 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 as good as their paid stuff. It's brilliant. So that's four. And the last one we're going to look at is the virus itself. Hello. So, I mean, you've all heard of the virus. There's a couple of things in the virus that really define its sound, in my opinion. Uh, let's solo this. I wouldn't say the filter's particularly exotic, uh, although it is nice and twangy. Uh, but the virus super saw 
and a couple of the effects are the things that really do make it stand out. In particular, the phaser. And as soon as I bring this phaser in, you're going to recognize the sound. It is trance of the past personified. It's so good. I mean, you've heard that, that sound over trance records for decades, a decade at least, and a bit. And I've yet to come across a phaser that is that elastic-y and twangy, um, paid or otherwise, until now. Um, it's actually been out a few years, and it's created by that genius called Adam Sabo. Zabo? I don't know how you pronounce his name. Zabo, Sabo. As you can see, if I line it up with the virus phaser, it's pretty much identical. And he has modelled it directly on the virus phaser. And again, it doesn't sound exactly the same. Obviously, he can't replicate that code. But he's done a pretty good job of capturing the character of the phaser. So let's replicate these settings uh, as roughly as we dare. So feedback around there, spread over there. Okay. Oh, we're not trying to replicate the sound exactly. We're just trying to capture the character of it. So um, switch that off. That's the virus phaser. So let's turn that off. Turn phasor on. It's pretty close, isn't it? Now we've got viruses going out again. Now I found a couple of things with this. The feedback and the mix aren't scaling the same as the original virus. I think, I think, I'm guessing here, my technical knowledge is not as deep as it sounds sometimes. But I think the way that the virus integrates with software, um, it's slight, the, the, the timing of the phaser plugin, the separate phaser plugin, is slightly different than the internal phaser of the virus. And I think you get some additional non desirable phasing with the plugin. Or I could be talking nonsense, but that's kind of what I'm hearing. But it's close enough that. that it's awesome. Try again. This is the virus one. Yeah. So you can see these two, the, the feedbacks, I've had to adjust them slightly differently. I've had to push the mix on the virus internal phaser. I've had to push the mix and the feedback up much higher than the external plugin. Not the end of the world. This is Phasor. Yeah, that's a good one. So those are your five. Those are the five I actually have installed and use quite a lot. Um, oh, we have got one more channel, just as a, a little additional thing. I've got a, let me solo that one. This little bit of noise. Um, so I've used Tal Filter and Lufticus to enhance or help this sit in a mix a bit more. So obviously without these, this is gonna be quite in your face. So like, shut up. But if we turn the um, filter on, virus is gone again. When you hear people moaning about a virus timing, that's what they mean. It, it kind of works sometimes and then it's going, you, you want me to start? And you're like, yeah, come on. And you have to re just restart the the, uh, the sequencer a couple of times. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's gone again. So we've got the ducking. And the virus is gone again. And Lufticus is helping it sizzle. Ever so slightly. There we have it. Five plugins. Grab all of those. Um, oh, when you when you start looking for free plugins, don't just grab all of them because you'll end up with just this like diarrhea wall of crap in your plugin setup. You won't know what you're doing. You won't know what you're using. Have specific tools that you like for specific jobs. Don't don't download all of them. Grab these ones. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate the support from you guys. If you liked this video, then you know, smash that like button. And if you want to be notified about new content, hit the subscribe and the bell notifications. Peace.